welcome to Speedstar. So it's hard to believe it. We've already halfway through the very first season, but uh, there it is. That's how it goes when you're having fun. So after the past five weeks, we've put some of SA's best known faces behind the wheel in our bid to find out who is the fastest around Swite Corps. We've also given them some tips and advice on how to be a safer driver, and this week we'll be doing just that. But first, let's meet our two guests. So whether on stage or screen, Tumi Maroke and Sivan Gessi have captivated audiences worldwide. Their latest performances though, well, that's gonna be playing out in a very different setting. Will they shine in their new roles? And who will be the star of the track? Break, 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 off the break. Why are you turning? Ah! What's gonna happen now? Now we're gonna to struggle to make that corner. Squeeze the brakes. Don't touch the brakes. Squeeze them, right? Squeeze. Uh, you know, you know, this is the one show, and I'm glad we're finishing the part one of Speed Stars with the two of you, because I know it's going to be the dull and boring one. I mean, you're not characters. To me. Yes. Driving. Did you, yeah. ever, did you ever think you'd be put through the paces doing something like this? We know how funny you are. You were you're quite funny on the track too. I didn't mean to. Me. <laughs> did you enjoy it? I did. I did. I think I'm addicted to it as well. Mm. Um, like, you should see me now on curves. I judge people. If I'm on a hairpin bend, I'm very judgmental. I'm very, that's not how you take it. Hey, yes, it's hairpin, hairpin oh, bend. It's, the bend. it's a very different thing. That's why the hairpin is, And a hairpin yeah. something you and I don't need. Huh? Yeah, you no, don't. No, no, well. So, so for you, I mean, you outspoken, so I'm imagining you're going you're gonna to have that same approach to driving. No, what, I, what was this a wake-up call for you? I'm a Cape Townian, and I'm a Cape Townian driving in Joburg. So <laughs> I've had to adapt very quickly. What does uh, that mean? It means... There's you, no mountain that you lost. Drive cuck. <laughs> so I've had to adapt, and I, had to, I learned some amazing things from it, and I had to... I thought I was a better driver than I am. But hang on, but is, is, that not, is that not a common problem, especially in South Africa? We all think we can drive. Yes. But not very yes. often do people get to do what you guys have, have been put through. Yeah. So was that, was that a wake-up call? It was a wake-up call that I must stop testing and driving. You know why? <laughs> it's bad for your punctuation. <laughs> <It's> a, <laughs> that's why. It's, it's hard to punctuate while driving. Look, and the, the only punctuation is a sudden stop. It's a sudden stop. Yeah, <laughs> that's, a, that's the only one you get right. Uh, I think for me it was a stopping time, hey? Yeah. Because I'm one of those always rushing to the next mm. gig. But now I'm like, no, nah, I'd rather be late, you know, because yeah. the little things, little things that you, beca you become afraid of after yeah. that time on the track and seeing the difference just in speed and stopping. Oh. You, you, you're way more aware. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have stopped texting and driving since I've been on the show. Because, yeah, yeah, cool. Welcome. I Thank have, you. I have, I have. Thank because, you. But I realized what, that texting and driving is like picking your nose. When you pick your nose, it's like, oh, it feels nice. You have to do it. Yeah. But when you see someone else picking his yeah, nose, you're like, ah, Chivago, you so pick cool. your nose in public. <laughs> exactly. Ah, come on. Uh, Siv, I, I, I don't know how we're going to use that as our marketing push <laughs> for no texting <laughs> oh, no, and driving. Think about it. <laughs> watch, watch, watch me. You're judging me now. You're no. judging me. But if you were doing it, you couldn't be judging us. You were talking about braking. So let's have a look. In this week's safety feature, we take a closer look at that relationship between speed and stopping distances. <laughs> Then, second gear. Oh my God. No, stop. Turning our stars into speed stars were two of the best. Multiple production car and touring car champion, both locally and abroad, Mike Briggs dominated racing in the sports glory days here in South Africa. Chop Sapuka changed the face of motorsport in our country and at the same time rewrote the record books in the fiercely competitive world of production car racing. Our stars were transferred from the luxury of the Fairway Hotel to our test facility at Swartkops Raceway. Driving is all about spatial awareness and anticipation, and that's the crux of today's lesson. You go as fast as you can and you've got to anticipate. You've got to break inside this box. Now you've got a lot of room here. If you overshoot it, those are going to be your colleagues that you've just killed and we're going to disqualify you. If you stop short, you're going to obviously let, the, let your foot off the brake and, 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 and lose time. So the idea is to get from there to here in the shortest possible time, 
without killing anybody and, and using the skill that you learned this morning. It's all up to you to anticipate braking. I'm just recording time. Okay. So you can pull off as fast as you want or as slow as you want. <sighs> Don't be nervous. <laughs> to the cone. Don't be scared. <laughs> Only time your hands come off is to change gear. Okay, cool. Okay, you ready? Don't be scared to plant the brakes. Hold on the brakes, hold on the brakes. I thought you weren't telling Jack when to brake, Wes. <laughs> Boom! Stay calm. Good shift. Now, as lovely as it is to have the wind blowing through your hair, seeing where you're going is way more important. <laughs> So, like I said, the brakes are soon. very good. <laughs> so we gave Bridget another chance, this time with her hair tied up. Very nervous. Very nervous. Very good. I was told it was Much better. <laughs> no one told me I have to know how to drive. That's what I'm here for. I guess you have to start somewhere, Sif. So, let's try not to kill any cones. Did you stall? <laughs> so have you stalled the car? Because that's 10 second penalty. No, no, never, never, never. No, just, just uh, start it again for me. You might have. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, it's called stopping. You can stop anywhere you can. Come on, man. Chef Ruben feeling the heat already. Let's hope he doesn't um, overcook it. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> forgets. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that? Well done. Oh, but you're on the brakes very early there, yeah. and you came off, which is yeah. fine. But at least you didn't kill me. Good start. Nice and aggressive. Oh, please don't encourage her, Ian. <laughs> Go! <laughs> she didn't stall. Very well done. Very well done. And you didn't stall. Now you can ask all the guys who stalled. Well done. Oh, nasty done, Melinda. Good change. Seems Larry was also caught out by the good brakes. Oh, man. <laughs> That's John assuming the brace position. Very, very, very well done. Good speed and anticipation meant he never needed to come off the brakes. You know, the scary part is that here you know where you must stop. You're told that's where you must stop. But you still can't really figure out where you must really start getting onto the brakes. And how much more on the national road? Oh, scary. Disaster. You can't see that short distance. 100%. It's shortened so, by so much. 100%. Driving requires 100% of your attention, 100% of the time. So keep a safe following distance and that's going to give you extra time to react in an emergency. Well, I'm very happy. I mean, before we even showed that safety tip, Siv, you've decided that you're going to be a better driver to me. Definitely. Besides judging how other I'm people are driving, a how's your driving? Driver. Are you? I've, I've improved, but you know, I, I really, really, really want to sign up for advanced driving now. Mm. Because I feel like um, you need to be proper prepared. Because I feel like I learned what I'm doing wrong on the road, yeah. but now I'm going, what's everybody else doing yeah. wrong on the road? But you, too, I mean, you spoke to me about that. You know, wanting to take your husband, yeah, we're going to yeah, do that type of thing. Yeah. But you know, so much of what the driving was about anticipating. Mm. So even though yes. they might not know what they're doing, yes. at least you are watching you're and you're watching. aware, which you can't uh, do when you're texting. So yeah. it's very, very difficult. Like I see the way our president reads numbers. Imagine if he was reading numbers <laughs> and he was driving. Like, let's be honest. This thing Why would he be driving? Driving? He's got a blue light. Why would he be driving in the first place? I bet you can't drive. No, no, but seriously, if you, get look him at, on the show? <laughs> if you think about the stuff you get wrong and you by yourself on that track, mm. now imagine when there are yeah, other roads, sure. bruh. The way I've learned to drive is I've learned not to trust anyone. Mm. Like, I don't trust that yeah. guy with who's coming. Cause I, and another thing, I drive a scooter, I ride a scooter. Mm. So when you're having you've a scooter, you, you can't trust anyone. Yeah. It's, you, you've got to be like just there. That like, is the unmanliest thing I have ever heard hey, you say. What did you say? Say it again. He's in Cape Town. Say it again. Unmanliest? Yes. What's, what's the, uh, the S? Must yes. be the oh, sir, right? is that? Oh, yes. Because you, you're not wearing your underpants over your pants. It's, it's called Silverman. Oh, Silverman. Very, very nice. 
Guys, we're going to head into the December holidays pretty soon, so Speed Stars is going to be taking a short break. But you, of course, can still get in touch with us via social media, Speed Stars SA. So do keep those tweets coming through. Stay tuned. After the break, our two star performers get the chance to play as racing drivers. Who's going to shine in that new role and who's going to be the tough act to follow? You'll find out after the break. you're watching Speed Stars. Hello and welcome back to this week's show. Time now to hand Tumi and Siv over to our two race aces. We're going to give them some critical tips on how to tackle SWAT Corps. Guys, this is the part of the day where it starts to get fun now. Having seen what you can and what some of you can't do, we're actually going to let you loose on the racing track now. The whole thing about today is, is obviously safety first. So we just want to make sure that everybody drives within their limits. And some of the limits aren't as high as we, we had hoped. But anyway. So let's try to get to the third gear That's good. Now accelerate. Perfect. All right. Off the bike, turning in too early. Brake, 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 brake. Oh, you're turning way too early there. Too early? Way too early. See what's happening now? Okay. Nice leap that you don't want. Okay. Hey, wait for that cone. Let me tell you when to turn. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Get right there. Now, also, aim for it. Out. Yes. Okay. The way you look, it's where I want to go. It's where you want to go. I see what you're saying. Now, accelerate for me. More power, more power, more power, more power. I like taking that. <laughs> now, look at the end of the pit wall there. See where the end of the wall is? Yes. Come right to it. Aim for the guy standing there and now accelerate out. <laughs> Do you think he poops himself? I think that time, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> break, 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 break. break. Oh, for me! Go, 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 go. Now to it. So oh. you want to get right to it. Not enough. Like, okay. You understand? Then don't be now when you dance with her. Yeah. That to be smooth. Don't be rough. You stay wide, a little bit of break. Turn in, touch the curb there. On your inside, lift off a little bit. Lift off, lift off. That's it, that's fine, that's fine, go, go, accelerate, you're doing fine, you're doing fine. Go, 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 go. Don't do something that is above your ability. Okay. I'm gonna say this. The guys like you, don't be rough. Hey, very entertaining. Have any of you been on a racetrack before? Was this first time? Yes, this is my first I was a first time. Usually I talk about race on stage. <laughs> uh, so when it got to racing, yeah. making it a verb, it wasn't too bad. Eh? Did you that play the race card? Yeah. Uh, it, it, it started, wow. I have to be honest, you know, wow. my first instructor was a white guy. Wow. Then he said to me, maybe we should get you a brother. Then the brother came wow. in and he spoke in for neck. And I was like, get oh, you a and you got okay. it. And you got it. So I got two this instructors. Is a racy conversation. Then, to, to, to me, yeah. getting onto a track, controlled environment. You can get to do things that you can't do on public roads. Yes, yes. Are you more confident now in your ability and the ability of the cars you drive? Absolutely, although I, I, I am tempted to change one of my cars now. <clears throat> mm. I shan't name names, but I, I, I did feel like, oh. oh we've but unleashed the racer in you. You don't understand. I felt like everything was slow. Driving home was very difficult mm. <laughs> because I was like, I'm... It's a national road. You mm. can go over hunting here. But you, you want to. I need to. Because you know, you've been. Uh, and you can't. Uh, now you must. Uh, oh, camera. Okay. Are we ready yes. to see your hot lap? No. We're going to start. <laughs> no. No. Timmy, we, we, we are going to start with no. you. No. South Africa, she is so funny. She's such an amazing woman. I've never seen such fear before the start <laughs> of a hot lap. <laughs> Have a look at Tumi Maroke. Cake rest. Look right. Cake rest. You with a hair net on? Yeah, look right. Yeah, look right. Yeah? Yeah, I look right. Yeah, shocker. Big right shocker. Is this my head gear? Yes, the freaking big. 
Yes, it can affect, eh? As that. I knew it was pointless to keep trying. <laughs> so I just drove. <laughs> like Look at that focus, eh? Cameras, you like, you? Okay, wait, what gear were you on? Was that like I gear? don't even know, bruh. I remembered when the car, I heard the car going, hey! I'm like, oh, right, right, change up, change up. <laughs> but you focus, I've never seen you this quiet. That would be you because dying. Because I realized I'm going to die but, alone in this car. But that would be you dying on stage. Imagine you standing there not saying anything for that long. <laughs> but you got your corners right. I still feel like you could beat me. Because you got your corners spot on. Like me, I would go too far sometimes. Yeah, I started slowing down. That not, like, wait, did I, not, did I miss my... Is that exit? not the question? Yeah, 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 see, see. So everything, you hit all your corners perfectly. So you can still beat me. Even though it's not a competition. Not a word from Tumi. Were people talking to themselves? <laughs> Yay, some people uh, were screaming. Really? You were so focused. No, because I was just trying to stay oh, alive. Oh, out! No! No! <laughs> <laughs> and then I realized I kept getting lost, so I was like... You can't get lost, well, you're I a racetrack. Lost. No, but I felt like I missed the exit. <laughs> Tumi, was that the first time you took a breath on that entire lap? Hey? Tumi just taught us how to make a manual car an automatic. A manual car into an automatic gearbox for who? The, qui the quietest comedian. Hey? You guys do not understand. Because when I'd been speeding, I had someone next to me and I became dependent on that, yeah. okay? I, I became dependent on go, 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 no, go back, Break. come back, come back. Yeah. And, you know, feeling the car yeah, by myself. Plus, my confidence was dead already because I, I, I realized my takeoff was whack. So from that point onwards, it was like, no, but Timmy, I may got, as well you, just but, finish no, the but lap. You, but you've got to remember, a lot of other people can make mistakes. A lot of other guys going too hot, they run off the track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Did you run off? No, we don't know yet, no, no, but no, no, let's, no. Have, let's have, let's have, Timmy, have a look uh, on this board. So let's, oh, let, no. let's take Timmy's name off here because we want to replace there. it with a time. Right Timmy, where do you want to be on this board? Like, who, who would you like to beat? If I've beaten Boiti, I'll feel better about myself. Okay, so let me let me let me help you. So you want to beat Boiti, eh? Yes. Okay. So if you beat Boiti, your your day's made. I'm okay because that, on the day I thought she was the weakest link. That, that well, Timmy, me, I've got good news for you. What? You did beat Boiti. Yay! But that was the only person you beat <laughs> so far on our leaderboard. Who knows what's going to happen in part two? But so far that, that is seconds. that is your time. Uh, that's what quite. What is Boiti that, doing? That's no. quite. How is it hey, driving? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not worry about Boiti now, because you know what? Boiti, we've chatted to. The person we haven't spoken to is Siv about his hot lap. Yes. So South Africa, he's quiet. He doesn't have a lot to say. And in the race car, I'm hoping that he's going to back it up with some solid driving. Let's have a look at Siv and Gessi. Oh. Good luck, Siv. Chilling, bro. Keep it calm. Go. Always. Cheers. Start, sir. You happy? Yeah, the camera doesn't give I, I, speed I, justice. I, I, yo, yo. The gum's racing too. You don't need the speed coming through, though. Oh, more the, gu the gum is racing too. <laughs> I felt like I was going faster. No, but I understand. That's what, it, that's what a camera shows from outside, eh? The yeah, it's not changing. Like... Come on. Are you also in an automatic box? No, 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 no. <laughs> Slow. Turn four, you arrive there very quickly, eh? Big corner. Looking good, sir. No, I could do better. 
I mean, I know why you didn't talk, because you were too busy chewing. Yeah, clearly. Concentrating. I imagine you texting and chewing and driving. Oh my <laughs> word. I would have won. <laughs> texting, chewing and driving. And looking fleek. Very safe out of that corner. Quite slow. conservative. That sounds good though. I'm not happy. Oh no. The An unhappy Siv. This could be a long show. Come on, Siv. Corners. Last corner. Oh, look off. Oh, look. But I want just the meter. But I want you to watch something here. Have a look. And look how your chewing increased. <laughs> Damn bloody delicious! Someone called Tuli Madi Seller because I broke the law. <laughs> the car is unbelievable. Uh, the wheels incredible. Incredible training from the trainers. It was amazing. It, 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 it was like there were certain things that you did and it was like second nature at times. And there were certain corners that you're like, oh, I, I, was, I didn't let it ride long enough. And then you're like, the next corner, I'll be better. Mm. Coming out of the corners, braking, turning, fling. Uh, I think my time wasn't too bad. Did we time the gum as well? Because I, I want to see if he was able to feed did, the... Did you notice, coming over the finish line, how much quicker you started chewing? Yeah. So, if, look, I can tell you up front, if there was a gum chewing contest, uh, you would be top yeah. of the pile. Unbelievable. Yeah. Got a talented tongue. You've seen... <laughs> oh, you've, okay. seen you've seen your hot lap now. We've got to reveal your time. Are you still happy? No, I think I could be a lot more clinical. I think when it comes to... F I wasn't scared, but I think the corners I could have taken a lot better. Mm -hmm. So I'm a bit disappointed. Well, we haven't shown your time yet. No, so it doesn't matter. So hold out, hold out. Oh, so it doesn't matter. You're just disappointed. No, yeah, I'm disappointed. But, but uh, people I want to beat. I want to beat okay, Larry. Who, okay, who, who do you want to beat? I want to beat Larry because okay, that's witchcraft. <laughs> Listen, but Belinda Bam. Were, you, were you surprised by Larry's time? Because I know he was in your group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you said, oh, he looked yeah. like he was quite safe. Belinda Bam, I want to beat. Well, listen, this is quite interesting. Before I go further, Sanani was like, if there's somebody that she wants to beat, it's Siv. Our national goalkeeper in the hockey side wants to beat you. How much higher do you think you're going to go? I don't know. I'm disappointed one way or the other because I want to beat Rob Forbes. Okay, well, I can tell you, you didn't, I, you didn't no beat Rob. Beating Rob Forbes. You didn't beat Darren. You didn't beat Bridget. You did beat Sonani, though. A 131.42. Disappointing. You're quiet. Disappointing. I can see exactly where I went wrong. Yeah. I think I definitely went... As fast as everyone, I just didn't, wasn't clinical with my corners. How did those women drive so fast? They don't have children. Because <laughs> I was just picturing my three children you collecting see, it, it must will be, money. It, mu it must be that. Huh? Yeah, no. But listen to me. I mean, you've still done really, no, really well. Horrible. And you've learned a lot. I have. I've learned that I'm not as fast as I want to be. And I want a rematch. Well, I'm let's coming let's, back let's, for the next season. Let's I'm fix sorry. that in season two. We have to have a comeback season. Well, listen. Between the two of you, obviously, you're not on the top of the board. Yeah. But uh, nice way to end off part one. At least you did beat Tumi. So in the battle of the, the funny guys. No, Tumi is my sister. Tumi is my sister. I wasn't competing with her. I was competing with Siv Ngeesi. He's amazing. Yeah. He disappointed himself. Tumi, Siv, been amazing having you on Speed Stars. Thanks for having us, man. Thank you very, very much. So, so we, we hooked up with the season two. We got a bit of a comeback. No, please, man. You know, you'd have the top guys and the bottom guys. Because <laughs> I know I'll be with those guys. You know, you know how I feel? I feel like that guy who met a girl in a club and he looked good. And then he had expectations and they let the girl down. Yeah. I feel like I let myself down. Yeah. Oh, Siv, don't cry. We are going to be taking a bit of a breather, but we're going to see you again in February 2016 when we unlock our final 12 celebs to see who's going to be the ultimate winner of Speed Stars. But until then, please have a good festive season. Keep it safe on the roads. And first up to take the fight to Rob in the new year are two heavy hitters in the SA music scene. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> that was well, well done. Well done. <laughs>